Hey, my beautiful people, welcome back to another small tarot report. Uh, well, this one is after a small pause. I wasn't there for a few days, but you know, sometimes ob other obligations kind of get in the way. So, but I was thinking we can do another reading on the topic uh, the last time they saw you. So, I believe we haven't done this one for a while. So, I thought maybe we can do uh, an update. So you guys will be able to choose between these three beautiful kings, powerful, uh, king of pentacles pile number one, king of cups pile number two and king of swords pile number three. So pick one of these kings and we will see how did your uh, person feel the last time they saw you. So let's see, let's start with this king of pentacles. How did they feel the last time they saw you? So I'm getting for a lot of you the last time this person saw you. Sorry for the chair, guys. They felt this kind of sense of despair for some reason. I don't know. Um, because I'm getting a lot of cards that they kind of thought that you aren't really up for working on this with them anymore. So it's almost like from your behavior, from your attitude, they got this weird vibe that you kind of dig. You see them as an empty investment if that makes sense with this seven of pentacles reverse so uh, also with the strength uh, reverse they also felt weak in a way so I'm almost getting with strength reversed and king of cups reversed that I'm getting that you did something that kind of bruised their ego a little bit perhaps you ignored them or uh, gave them a little bit of colder type of a salute or whatever it was so <clears throat> I'm getting that the last time that you saw them, ego of this person suffered the bruise in a way. So, uh, but I'm getting that nonetheless this made them uh, even more attracted toward you with this Ace of Wands. Uh, I don't know why, perhaps this person has some type of masochistic tendency uh, toward liking things that, uh, you know, dismiss them in a way or give them no accolades or attention, so this is interesting. Then also what I'm sensing for a lot of you, the thoughts that they were having in their mind were kind of, do they have somebody else, did they, uh, especially with the Seven of Swords, with the Ace of Wands like this, uh, they were like, did they start some type of new affair, new romantic entanglement, uh, and I perhaps don't know anything about that. Is that the reason why are they giving me no attention in the situation? You know, so uh, this is the vibe because I'm getting that you did something last time. Uh, you guys saw them that gave them uh, some type of lesson. So it's interesting. Then with Taurus in the fourth house, fourth house can correlate with the moon and uh, our internal mindset and uh, our peace of mind, our psychology. They just thought that you looked so stable to them in a way, uh, so unbothered in a way, sturdy. So they did see you uh, in this unemotional light and with King of Cups kind of, uh, how do I say it? Mm. Yeah, kind of detached from the situation in a way. So they felt like, did, did they perhaps, you know, lost the romantic feelings that they have or that they had toward me. So uh, this is something that they may have considered in a way. So I'm also getting sixth house uh, for some of you. Sun uh, also there. 
um, and from sixth six house sun looks direct to the twelfth house so wherever sun gives the direct type of aspect uh, there's something quite uh, luxurious about that house quite uh, Leo like in a way so 12th house correlates with feet so for some of you they could have thought oh my god he or she has uh, really foxy new shoes or sneakers or whatever it was in your case so it was about something that you wore uh, in a way uh, on your foot on your feet that really uh, has drawn their attention in a way uh, then I'm also getting with the south node in the 12th house they could have thought that you always have some type of uh, unusual footwear in a way uh, this is something that I'm getting they were also thinking how your body looks so proportionate uh, I'm getting that they admired your body and the uh, way your clothes emphasize those uh, proportions in a way so I'm getting you were wearing something that was really benefiting your uh, body shape in a way it could have been hoodie as well you know uh, however they did thought uh, oh my god you know he or she is so handsome uh, wearing that zipped hoodie or whatever it was so there was a sense of admiration when it comes to that is what I'm sensing I do have fifth house and the south node uh, south node kind of uh, takes away from the house wherever it sits so fifth house can correlate with our waist and stomach area for some of you they could have thought like you uh you know uh, lost some weight especially that your waist may have gotten thinner something along those lines is what i'm sensing uh and also as fifth house is house of romance and the south node sitting there uh, this is giving me the vibes that you that they the impression that they got was that you aren't really open uh for for love in a way or for romantic entanglement so um this is something interesting i'm getting that they were thinking how they are really hoping that you are ready as they are currently perhaps there was a period uh, when they weren't ready, the Eight of Pentacles reversed, they didn't invest, Seven of Pentacles reversed, you stopped waiting for them. So they kind of hope that uh, currently both of you are uh, at the same wavelength. Although the situation was somewhat dismissive toward them, uh, is what I'm sensing, because either you ignored them or you didn't feed their ego in a way. So... This is something. Also, if you were with a friend, let's say you met this person or they saw you when you were crossing the street, perhaps you were uh, with a friend of yours. They thought something along the lines that like soul bond is visible between you and that friend or like they uh, presume that this is somebody whom you know uh, the entire life, you know, that you guys are more like family as of now because moon does represent those who are really close to our heart like friends that we know for the entire life and the 11th house is uh, also a house of friends so uh, this is our logic behind the placement hey but if you like this small report give it a small like so that it reaches more people uh, yeah but they also thought that you look like a person who just Mm, accomplish some type some type of great dream of yours because you were giving them the air of a person who attained everything you know uh, it's almost like you are i don't know let's say 28 or something late 20s and you already you know find found your finished college found your ideal job you know uh, perhaps you even have a nice residence with this so there was an impression uh, like how this person is so settled in life so soon with this king of pentacles which is also about material stability and wealth so and this is the king that you chose for your pile so it's kind of co confirming uh, to us that you are kind of so together I'm getting that song girl you are so together I'm not sure is it uh, Madonna perhaps or somebody 
uh, but Google it uh, by the name. Uh, so this was kind of their impression uh, and it's interesting. And then with Mercury and Scorpio, uh, they could have thought that you do have some type of Scorpionic occultic type of, of appeal to you, kind of. Uh, it's almost like they thought you do have this, you know, uh, swag of a bad boy, bad girl, but still with the air of having something very spiritually profound and spiritually connected. So that type of juxtaposition is what I'm sensing. Definitely something about your waist uh, here. But let me see. Or you were wearing something that was complementing your waist. Uh, let me see. And we also do have Mars in Sagittarius. Um, yeah, so there's some type of great nonchalance because Sagittarius people, they are just so chill. Uh, when it's their day, they are the most chill people around. And Mars is uh, how we implement our actions in day-to-day -day life. So this is something that they were thinking about you. Uh, and for some of you, like, how are they so chill in spite of, uh, like, my presence here? So, uh, this is what I'm getting. They also thought that they do want to assume some type of responsibility and uh, let you know something in a very considerate and respectable manner. But, like, they didn't got a chance in that meeting. Yeah, but we are ending here for the King of Pentacles. I hope you guys like this small report. If you did, do check uh, other ones as well. And see you in the next reading. Bye-bye. So this one will be for those of you who chose King of Cups. What did they think the last time they saw you? What did they think? We're gonna take jumpers if they come. But let's see, what did they think? So I'm sensing 13.10. For a lot of you, they were like, come on, flirt me up a little bit, you know. So this person was like, uh, they were very happy when they saw you. This is something that I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting that this person each time they see you, it's like the sun comes up, you know. Uh, their entire day is in the colors of that meeting for some reason. Uh, I'm also getting that they thought uh, that you look so youthful for some reason. Uh, there was something about you where they thought, how come, how can you always look so fresh in a way, so revitalized? What's your perhaps skin product or, uh, you know, how do you keep such a youthful demeanor in a way? Uh, I'm also getting there was something about your posture. They perhaps thought that your posture uh, was very, how do I say, sporty in a way, uh, it looked really healthy and with this card for some reason I'm getting the idea that to they thought like he or she looks like a model just with more of an ass uh, type of vibe so and my guys can apply that also as well so uh, it's almost like there's something where there was something very modelesque to them, but still uh, more along of what they like in a way. So uh, if you are a guy, you can have you know really beautiful face, but still uh, perhaps a little stronger build than those slim models have, and they adore that. 
for example, uh, and same for women. Um, there was something about how they felt that your shape really is in adjustment with what they um, desire in a partner. So in a way, that was what, what they were thinking. So uh, I'm getting for some of you, there was something about your friendly relation. Uh, perhaps uh, people among whom you were looked very worldly to them or uh, there was something... Mm, how do I say? Even for some of you, they could have thought like, wow, this person looks like they also uh, like spirituality like you or they looked like they also uh, are into sports and fitness. So, Or perhaps this was somebody with whom you go for some type of trainings, uh, exercise, for example, your tennis partner for some of you or whatever it was. <clears throat> there was an element uh, of people around you that share some type of kindredness in one of your interests. So this is something that they notice in a way. Mm, and they kind of thought that your friendships are cool, that they would love to, in a way, share your friend circle. So it is interesting. Then also, for some of you, I, I don't know, with pages, words, reversed, for some reason this person may have thought like that you haven't seen them at all, or they wondered, uh, like, did they even see me, you know. Uh, I'm getting that they may have tried to do something, like say something louder or make a more animated gesture, but it's kind of, it went unnoticed by you in a way, so... Uh, let me see. Then with Mars in Libra, I'm getting that they thought for some reason that you are very gallant. So, uh, doesn't matter if you are a guy or a woman or, uh, I'm getting that you made some type of fine manner toward somebody who was in your vicinity and they were kind of uh, all giddy about it all. How do I say they looked you with, do with those uh, lovey-dovey eyes, in a way, because some type of gesture melted their heart. Uh, and I'm getting they were like, hmm, it's just, you know, just the type of behavior that I want from my SO or however. So, this is interesting for me. And then we do have Mars in first house. For a lot of you, they could have thought that like you are looking stronger or, or that whichever sport you are doing, it's showing. Um, so, let's say you are a dancer, they could have thought like, wow, it really shows that you have been dancing for an entire life, you know, there's something floating in your movements uh, or whichever it is. Whichever type of regime you have, it is showing some type somehow in your body in a way. Uh, for a lot of you, they thought about reconciling, reunion, uh, because you are looking to them like a winner with the Six of Wands. Uh, they are thinking like you looked really content and really appreciated by the people who were in your vicinity. So it can be that uh, your people did some type of affection and gesture just when they were passing by or perhaps somebody uh, kind of put their hand on your shoulder or something. So somebody was expressing some type of affection toward you uh, when they saw you either verbally or uh, physically but this, this is the energy that they have gotten for some reason uh, is what I'm sensing. Mm, let me just see. We have a moon in Pisces. So, yeah, I'm getting that they thought that uh, for some of you it will be divided, uh, this impression. Uh, for some of you they thought that you kind of look slightly, uh, how do I say, um, scattered in your energy or confused. And for the others, it will be like they couldn't decipher your emotional state. Uh, but I'm getting for them, it's like they wanted to jump uh, when they saw you of happiness, of uh, joy, for some reason. 
yeah, they are definitely um, they were definitely thinking like you were radiating this type of confidence, which doesn't has an, any big uh, I don't know inferiority complex or uh, insecurity for some reason. Uh, you have embraced or all the aspects of yourselves for some reason. For some of you, they could have thought that you looked sleepy to them in a way. Let me just see from this world card. Um, I'm getting that they really have the hots for your body. Especially I'm getting hip to waist area for some reason. And they also may uh, think that you have a very, uh, how do I say, beautifully built torso. <clears throat> It's almost like they wondered how do you look uh, below all these layers of clothes in a way. So um, this is something that I'm getting. Then I get have this Virgo in 12th house. They were in this mode. Uh, hey, let's uh, leave our problems behind or uh, let's send whatever, uh, whichever miscommunication was here. Although I'm not getting a lot of that. Uh, in this in this pile, this isn't the betrayal or anything like that type of pile, but just perhaps uh, lack of clarity or lack of full understanding in the situation. So uh, this is something that they could have thought. Uh, let me see. Hey, but if you like this small report, give it a small like, so that it reaches more people. If you have like arctic blonde uh, or light brown uh, hair color, they really admired something about your hair, perhaps how the sun looked uh, in it, uh, so reflection of the sun in your hair, something along those lines. Hmm. Okay, for those of you who have like ADHD, uh, they could have wondered like... Uh, are you not seeing me due to ADHD or, uh, you know, something like that. Or, or if you are like hyperactive or whatever, uh, it was like, it was in their eyes, it was like, hmm, should I make a bigger gesture? Uh, will they be able to silence their hyperactive mind and see me? Uh, so this is something curious here. I'm getting that they wanted to do a gesture, but they couldn't because you weren't noticing or you weren't uh, really weren't really eager uh, to kind of notice them in this situation. So um, there was also something about your shoulders. Uh, I'm getting they admire that. For a lot of you, there's this juxtaposition that they think that. Uh, in your shoulder area, you look simultaneously strong and uh, feminine in a way for my women. Uh, and for guys, uh, also something about your shoulders. This person has some type of fixation on your shoulders is what I'm sensing. And hand movements for some reason, they always follow your uh, hand gestures. Yeah, but I'm ending here for the second pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. If you did, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. So for those who chose King of Swords, let's see what was your person thinking about you. Last time they saw you. What were they thinking? What were they thinking?
So I'm getting for a lot of you with seven of wands, reverse, two of wands, reverse. They were regretting their choice of uh, not to fight for this connection in a way. They were regretting their narciss narcissistic ways toward you. So with the nine of cups reversed, I'm getting that this person displayed some type of egotistical behavior. And with the eight of swords reversed, you were like enough, is, enough is enough. I can't really, uh, this person is constantly testing me, constantly draining my energy, getting on my nerves. This is going nowhere and I'm not gonna... Uh, stay trapped in a situation which gives me nothing but uh, this sense of not being enough or worthy enough due to somebody's other's uh, emotional neglect or emotional lack of uh, lack of vitality in a way. It's almost like this person lacks vitality to be emotionally available for some reason. Uh, I know it will sound strange, but I'm also getting that somebody will really resonate with that. Uh, yeah, but this was their uh, kind of emotional background of, of what they felt in the situation. So, uh, yeah, but with the sun in Aries, they thought that there's something really royal about you, about how you look. Uh, that you really radiate some big authoritative uh, vibe to them. And for some of you it was like, how did I not, not notice this before? How did I not notice how much, how dominant this person is? But like a uh, nonchalant dominant type of a person. So this is something that they were saying, like uh, it was, it is almost like uh, they were thinking that they were so trying to display some type of dominance and some type of cockiness, uh, you know, and they just turned out uh, kind of narcissistic and uh, you saw them in, in an egotistic type of way. And for you guys, you didn't even try to display this dominant behavior or attitude and still you have it in a way. So this is something that they thought, uh, let me just see. With Jupiter and Scorpio, for some reason, for some of you, they may have thought like you uh, gained a little bit more uh, beauty on your backside, if that makes sense. So your booty may uh, be slightly more rounded compared to when they last time saw you or something like that. Mm, they kind of really digged it. Because Scorpio does represent our uh, booty area and Jupiter is expansion. Also for males it can... Uh, can it... For males Scorpio does represent, you know, uh, their lower package and Jupiter is also expansion. Uh, you Perhaps you had that grey pen styling or something with the... you know what... Uh, something that all people who like kind of masculines anticipate in the spring in a way so it's really beautiful for me uh, regardless of your gender there was something they appreciated about your lower part of body so let me see also with Leo in the first house uh, they thought like your your hair uh, looks bigger than they remember or uh, more afro or more curly uh, say however it is in your situation so perhaps you added some volume in some type of way naturally or not um, but this is something that they were thinking as well uh, then there was something about them uh, wondering what would the first date with you be like so uh, this could have also been in the midst of their mental processes I'm getting uh, I'm get, getting that they thought that, that it would be very sensual, uh, kind of indulgent in a way. So, it's interesting. Yeah, and again, I'm getting Seventh House and Mercury. Seventh House is also about, you know, our lower reproductive organs. Mercury is beauty. So this person is very attracted. It can be your hip area for a lot of you. For some reason, you have beautiful hips to them. Uh, yeah, or, or like, yeah, some just something about hips and clothes that perfectly emphasizes that 
as well. So let me see. Then we do have Mars in the first house. They did think about some type of conflict that it, that they had uh, with you in a way. Uh, and they are kind of uh, only now able to see your perspective on things and uh, they are kind of only now worried. In in a sense they were worried about the impact that they uh, made on you during some type of conflict. Uh, but I'm getting that they didn't have this worry previously. It's kind of some somehow their consciousness elevated or... Uh, they are currently more compassionate, they have more empathy, so they are wondering uh, how they never considered their gestures and their actions from your uh, viewpoint in a way. Hmm. And getting something that you were wearing, something that you were clutching, that they really noticed it could have been like handbag or something, but they thought it was beautiful. Uh, or very practical for some of you, uh, for some reason. Let me see if we have anything else really calling us in this situation. Let's see about this card. So there was something about uh, your interactions with others. I'm getting whomever you were with. They kind of felt like people always look kind of protective over you. So you can be with your friends, you can be with your colleagues, uh, you can be with your family, but you always look so well protected. And uh, they were almost like if you were with somebody, you know, how would that person react if I approached? Uh, would they be defensive toward me? Especially if you guys had some type of of a conflict and you had your close person besides you so this person could have known uh, a little bit of your history is what I'm sensing so let me just see I'm getting that they just wanted to run toward you and take you in their arms like this man did uh, for this woman this is some type of arrival uh, it's almost like this person didn't properly see you for ages and they, uh, or for a little bit longer time. So uh, this is something that they had this urge to do in a way. Uh, but let me see what else we have on the pics. Yeah, it's almost like um, they were they were in this. How do I say it? detached but observant uh, and observant and uh, how do I say uh, not worried but uh, consider a type of mood when they saw you because see how this gentleman uh, looks at this woman uh, so I'm getting like protective detached vibes from them in a way uh, I'm also getting that they thought that something about your appearance, about your how you look, is they are very content with your looks for some reason. Mm. Yeah, especially correlated with your hips because we have Venus in Sagittarius. Sagittarius uh, does I know that area as well. Let me see. Do we have anything else special or shall we end? Yeah, I'm getting that they uh, had this urge to give you some type of compliment. But they were like, I better not, you know. Perhaps I'm not in a position to say so or something. Yeah, but we are ending here for the third pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this small report. Uh, if you did, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.